not death, but what we let die and set ourselves a living. Okay, Norman. Okay. Right to the point. I got you. by former Royal Marine Commandos. Okay. Okay. Booze, check. Fucking getting drunk. Thinking about bad shit, check. Put the sledgehammer. All right, homie, what are you doing, man? Take a dip in the drink, huh? Okay, color me intrigued. Color me intrigued. Hi, I'm Sam Seeley. I'm Dan Shepard. My name's James Clark. Summary is the call sign of a troop commander or a troop boss but it also has, uh, I think, a few different meanings as well. Um, you know, the Sunray is a bit of a, a sign of hope. Sunray is a um, military tactical thriller, and what we've tried to do is give you a visually exciting, fun, uh, action-packed series that also delivers a hard-hitting punch. Series? PTSD um, and survival Yeah, skills. I could definitely tell that. So Sunray was inspired by the, um, the military community and the stories that are within the military community. Uh, there's so many stories, they are so diverse, and we want to sort of bring those all together uh, to deliver you a story that's both exciting, but also has a deeper level, a deeper meaning. My inspiration for Sunray um, was actually when I was struggling with my mental health. Um, but what I did is I put pen to paper and I felt like the things that were in my head and the, you know, the things that I potentially wanted to do or the things that I've, I was feeling or things I've done, I felt like I kind of had to share that. Sunray is a very unique project. There's nothing like this out there at the moment. From the crew to the cast, the whole project has been developed by serving and ex-serving military. Sunray follows our lead protagonist, Andy. Um, he's been in he's been in the military all his life. You know that's that's all he knows. So Sunray primarily follows a team of four former Royal Marines who have uh, transitioned to civilian life. Um, to do what though? Finding it difficult and therefore take uh, the law into their own hands in some ways. His life is the guys who work for him. Um, he's he is Sunray. He's the troop boss, and these guys look up to him. Um, he hasn't got anything else, you know, and he, he lived to look after these men and take these men to battle uh, and bring them back in one piece. Fucking pulling off set security and rear side security. We've just finished shooting the trailer, which we hope you enjoyed. Uh, we've also fully written the first episode. That's all good to go. We're just waiting for the funding from you guys uh, to enable us to do that. The thing about Sunray is that uh, not only is it uh, created by a crew of mostly former military or serving military personnel, uh, but also the cast are former or serving Royal Marines. Um, 
And what that brings is years, you know, you know, over God knows how many years of experience from operational tours in Ireland, Bosnia, Iraq, Afghanistan, you know, um, they can bring those real life emotional memories and share that and pull from those emo emotional memories in their performance. I'm glad this is happening. I think people should back this Kickstarter project because it, again, is, is very unique in the filmmaking sphere. It's, it's something that doesn't get seen This is the kind of shit I wanted to do. Uh, there's, there's action films Maybe a little, maybe, you know, not exactly, uh, but, but... This action is going to be delivered by people... The fact that, that more and more of this is occurring. Uh, but also, the story behind that is people that have felt those feelings before, and they've been in, in situations that, again, a lot of people never get to be in. I firmly believe that we can deliver um, incredibly exciting, action-packed, but also deep and meaningful product um, that I think you will absolutely love. Secondly, I think it's incredibly important to support um, former military personnel. Helping former military personnel uh, get, get some work, basically, because uh, we all know what it's like transitioning to the civvy world, uh, and sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle. If we achieve our funding goals, this will enable us to fully produce the entire series that we've got planned. We've got the first episode written, and we just need the money now to get rolling on production. So we have a few stretch goals. Uh, we're hoping if we can reach them, we would look to add an extra episode. You know, if we can hit those stretch goals, we can give you a sixth episode, um, which will actually involve you guys sending stuff in um, and requests of what you want to see in that episode. And you know, that those top requests will make it into the episode. It will allow us to create better action sequences. Um, secondly, it will allow us to develop the story further, um, spend more time on set, and really give you those hard-hitting, deep and meaningful moments in the story. Um, we also, um, those, those stretch goals, obviously the more money we have, the higher production value we can give you. Right. Um, and not only does that mean, you know, potentially bigger bangs um, and, you know, sort of more real life war fights in, it also means that we can give you that deeper, richer story um, of our cast and our crew and, you know, the, the wealth of experience they have. Um, we can really, really delve in and, and, and pull from their exp experiences, those unique experiences that money cannot buy, um, and, and, sh and share that with you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued. I'm curious how this is going to fucking go. All right, afterthoughts. So this is obviously going to be immersed in uh, more true-to-life stuff. So I'm very curious how they're going to do that. So obviously they're going to do probably more than likely do like flashback scenes and then kind of go into what they're doing now and then how there's a struggle of adaptation and everything else. So I'm very curious to see. I think more projects like this need to be done. Um, not only just to, I guess, to kind of give, I guess, to, 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 to check the tactical check boxes, but to also kind of get into telling a story of uh, all the other stuff that people don't necessarily talk about, which is, you know, the other stuff. So I'm intrigued. We'll see what, we'll see what happens, especially with me in TV series. You know, I hope it doesn't go like the route of like all the other TV series, like six and everything else. But some sometimes they inject a little bit of a corniness into it, and I really don't like that. So usually some sort of like wife scandal or something like that, or one teammate sleeping with another teammate or teammate's wife or some shit. It's kind of dumb. I'm like, okay, all right, let's in, let's inject some 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 of that crap in there and detract from what we're trying to do here, making it a soap opera, but. Uh, let's see what happens, man. I'm I'm going to watch this and monitor it. That's for sure.